many of you out there are still pre-recording your worship services each week. And even if you're live streaming every Sunday, there are still going to be special services throughout the year, like Christmas Eve or Easter, where you're going to want to shoot things ahead of time and then edit them together and up-level your quality a little bit. Whenever I end up doing a pre-produced service for a church in my area, the thing that I dread the most is lyrics. Lyrics are a really tedious and time-consuming process that typically get pushed to the end of your edit when you're tired and you just want it to be finished and then you realize, oh, there's no words. And you've got to listen and type everything out and it's just a real... The good news is I learned from a pastor friend of mine an extremely fast and efficient way to get your lyrics onto your pre-recorded video with almost no effort at all. Thanks for checking this video out. I'm Spencer from churchvideoschool.com where we help churches learn the technical skills and the ministry strategy necessary to succeed in online church. If you want help finding the right gear for your church and your budget in less time, check out the free church video gear guide linked in the description below. All right, so what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna dive into my computer and I'm gonna show you how I record the output of ProPresenter onto a green screen background. And then I take that captured movie file throw it into my video project and key the green screen out to get clean lyrics on the bottom of my worship video. This is the exact same process as doing an upstream key in an ATEM switcher. One quick note is that if you and your worship team are using Ableton Live to trigger your ProPresenter lyric slides, you can actually have this recorded while you're shooting video and have it done for you, packaged up and ready to go when you're done shooting. If you're not and you're just running tempo tracks or you're not running tracks at all, this still works. You just have to do a little bit more by hand. But either way, let's jump into the computer and I'll show you how to get this done. Okay, here we are inside ProPresenter. I'm gonna show you how to make a Lyric video that you can quickly export and drop into your video project and not have to type out Lyrics anymore. So the first thing you've got to do is we have to throw a green screen background onto our song slides so that we can key that out later. So what I'm going to do is grab this green thing I downloaded from the internet. It's a 1920 by 1080 green screen. Um, that gives us something to work with as far as keying our video out. If you don't throw one of these on, it'll just be on black as an exported video. You can't export a transparent background video like you can a PNG file. So you're going to have to key blackout, which means you won't be able to put a drop shadow on your lyrics, which we want. It helps them stand out. All right, so now that we've done that, I'm going to put this away. Um, this is uh, from the project I did for Christmas for a church around here where I had to do this five or I think it was seven times. There were seven songs for their Christmas Eve service, so I got pretty used to doing this. And thankfully, it saved me a lot of time. So make sure you load your song in. Make sure it's the right arrangement. Go to the arrangement view. Make sure that it's all set up the way that you actually performed it which it is, so I feel good about that. And uh, I can make sure that it all looks good. It shows up there, that's great. So, pretty much ready to go as far as ProPresenter goes. Um, what I need to do now is I'm gonna go into Final Cut Pro and I'm going to export a low resolution version of just that one song. So I usually make all my songs um, for like a, a service in separate projects. So each song gets its own project and then when they're done, I drag and drop them all into the master project file and then I kind of transition between them and it helps me stay organized and not be kind of all over the place. So what I've done here is I've got my exports file um, and you can see I've got my master exports here, but right here um, we're doing Oh Come All You Faithful. So right now I made this lyric video, so I'm gonna open that should pop up here. Um, so it's not super good looking. It's a little fuzzy. Um, the color on that is way off. So apologies to that person. But I don't care what it looks like. I just need it for queuing purposes to help me know when to go to the next slide. So what I'm going to do now, go back to ProPresenter, and I need to go to click. If you're using seven, it's this live button. If you're using six still, uh, it's something up here uh, in presentation. I think there's a record output um, on one of these. Yeah, start capture, capture settings and screens. Um, you can also get that from live right now. I'm obviously not sending it to a broadcast destination or anything like that. So I wanna go to capture settings. Um, I wanna send it to a disc. I'm not streaming it. And then it's like, which screen do you want to use? 
And um, yeah, you kind of set things how you want them here. I can write ProRes 422. It's going to give you a little bit better data to work with for keying, but you probably can get away with uh, regular H.264 if you're worried about disk space. Um, make sure this is set to 1920 by 1080. And I would set your frame rate to match what you're seeing, or sorry, what you shot your project in. So I shot my project in 24 frames, so I want my Lyric video to be in 24 frames so that there's no weird frame interpolation going on that makes it look a little bit staggered. So at this point, what I would want to do is I need to go turn my audience on over here. So now I've got you know, my other monitor, which you guys can't see, is my display screen. It's now just basically this, and it's recording what's going out there as soon as I hit start capture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then now that I'm recording capture, all I need to do is hit play on this video, um, wait for it to pop up, and then go here and just, you know, what I tend to do is just minimize this window. Um, and see if I can put this down here and then see if I can minimize this one a little bit as well. That way I can see both at least a little bit, but I really just, again, need this video to cue me. And I think this song actually had like a four minute intro, so you'd have to sit through all that. But say, for the sake of argument, we're just gonna skip ahead. Um, as soon as they start singing, I think that's about to happen any second here. Um, okay, here we go. So you guys get the idea, so I'm going to pause that again. So sorry for that person that looked, they look like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> um, so I'm going to turn my output off, stop capture, and now what you should have, um, and it depends where you send this, I sent it into these lyric files. So let's see, it was, oh come all you faithful. I now have new output recording, that's just, that's just the default name. So I'm going to open that up. Right, you're gonna see green screen background. And then if we scrub forward, there are all our words. And they're going to be there, you know, in time with the song. So now I've successfully output just a pure lyric video that all I have to do now is go drag and drop it into my song project. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just grab this output lyric song file and drop it into my timeline. Um, you can also, you know, drag and drop it into a keyword collection, but uh, I'm just going to do that. So I'm actually going to slide this up to the beginning. I'm pretty sure I stopped the recording when the lyrics stopped, but now my job is to go in and sync up the start of the lyrics on this green screen slide with where they actually happen um, so that I can get the timing down. So I'm going to zoom in here. But the first thing that I actually want to do, just to make life easier for everybody working with this, I'm not sure why this isn't formatted to my screen properly, uh, is actually I'm gonna go key out the green. So I'm gonna go to effects here and I'm gonna go to keying and I'm gonna just drag and drop the keyer on there. And since it's green, uh, it just automatically detected that chroma key and it looks fine. Let's see where the lyrics come in. So they're a little bit late there, but you can see they show up perfectly right here. Uh, just like we're honestly doing a, what's called an upstream key on maybe a live stream um, ATEM device or something like that on a Sunday. It's the exact same concept. So from here, my only job is to then go through and sync up. You know, again, I can just grab the cutting tool and get rid of all this empty space. And now I've got room to slide this forward and back. So it looks as she starts singing right there. So we're pretty close right here. Let's check this out. All right, I may fine tune it from there, but that's essentially the process. Um, so instead of typing all of these out as individual titles and then changing their duration based on the speed of the song or whether they held it, you know, the same length every single time, um, just click through ProPresenter like you're in a Sunday service, record the output, drag and drop it in here, 
It's super simple and it saves you a ton of time as long as the song's already built inside ProPresenter. If you have to build the song, I maybe wouldn't do this. Unless you're gonna be doing it over and over again, again, you'll benefit from the time spent building the song files. Uh, but either way, this should save you a ton of time. The key when it comes to editing and producing video content is mainly that you have a plan and you have confidence to execute that plan efficiently and effectively so you're not wasting time or wasting mental energy getting lost or stuck in the process. So I hope this video has helped you in that regard today. Feel free to check out the rest of the channel for other editing tips or videos on live streaming and ministry strategy to succeed in the future of church ministry moving forward. That's it for today, guys. Again, check out the free church video gear guide if you want help finding gear. And make sure you check out the link to schedule a call with me or someone on my team to help you figure out the right solutions for your specific church. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.